Hello, this is Al from the ZPanel community in open source. Today I'm going to install a copy of PHP Fusion on a ZPanel X server. Don't forget to uh, come visit us on YouTube and on ZPanelCP.com. Here you can download the latest version of ZPanel and visit us on the forum. Alright, let's start. If you go to php-fusion.co.uk, you can load the latest version of the CMS. So we're going to download the latest version, 7.02. And I'm going to save a copy on the desktop. It's taking some time. Here we go. Ah, we got two now. Anyway, save one copy and discard the other one for now. It's around 5.5 .5 megabytes, I think. Yep. Right, job done. I'm going to uh, move it on the other side of the monitor. Here we go. I'm going to unzip it. This is inside the actual file. I'm going to just unzip for what I need the the folder files. Nitchell is the folder I'm going to upload to the server. Okay, I've just opened the FileZilla client and already connected to the Z panel server. And I'm going to upload to my domain that I use for tutorials. In this case is going to be cms-tutorial.tk. You won't find those domains active as I just use it for tutorials. Here we go. I'm going to upload the entire folder inside the FTP program so it will upload automatically to the actual root of the domain there are around uh, I think 1600 files Once uploaded all the files, I'm going to open the browser and I'm going to go to the URL CMS tutorial.tk. This is the Z Panel X uh, control panel. I'm going to click on the domain, open a new tab. Now we got the first things to need. We need to do. We need to uh, actually is a config not. To found so let's see on the server why is not found if it's there or needs to be renamed yes as you can see on top of the the list there let's see if it's another one just in case expand it here we go that's that's the one there at the bottom I 
So I'm going to rename and I'm going to remove the underscore. Here we go, let's go back. I'm going to refresh and there we go, it started the installation as English. Next, everything looks fine. Now let's go to Z panel X control panel to make a database and a database user. expand that here we go click on my SQL database I'm going to call it uh, PHP fusion just for the uh, tutorial now press create then I go to database on the top right and make a user again I'm going to call it PHP fusion and I'm going to map it to the database it here we go PHP fusion and I press create now we got the username and the password I'll go back on the database and I'm going to copy the name of the database so I can paste it in the installation So I'm going to paste now. Then I'm going back and copy the password. Right, PHP Fusion for the username, and I'm going to paste the password. And I'm going to click Next. I'm leaving the rest as a reason here for this installation. Everything's done successfully, and I'm going to press next. Now I'm going to choose a username and login password, and an admin password. What has to be different of the logins? Don't forget your email and press next. Now it's finished. Don't forget to chimod again your config. Now we're going to log in. Remember and invalid username. Oh yes, I can see that. So it's admins and the password of the logins. Is the actual second password that I put on rather than the first one. Press login and there we go. We got setup detected. So now what I do I go to file Zilla again and I'm going to delete the file. Don't forget it again to change the permission of the file config. Just in case you wonder where all the files are on the server, it's quite simple. For Z panel, I go to the folder var, V A R. Then I go to Z panel, host data, Z admin, and here in the public HTML, we'll find every single domain under that username. Here we go, that's the setup, and I'm going to delete it. Close that, open up the browser again. Here we go, we got the actual um if a refresher the warning sign will go. Continue again. And there we go. Uh, we got the full PHP Fusion CMS installed on a Z Panel X server. I hope you enjoyed the installation. I'll see you soon. Please subscribe and share it. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. Bye.